Hello all, welcome to OpenMentor.net. In this session, we are going to see how to call one program from another program in COBOL. I have defined one program, caller. This is the program ID. Okay. Now, in this program, from this, I am calling another program by name, subprogram. This subprog is the it should be the program ID. Okay. Now I'm simply printing the message. I am in. I am calling another program. Okay. I am just calling another program. That is a subprogram. Then the control will go from this program to the other program. This is pretty much like you are calling loop para from main para. So this is a paragraph. You call from main para to loop para. Same way I am calling sub program from this program so now let me compile this okay let me compile this right now i am not parameterizing anything i am just sending it as it is just calling one program from the other now let me open the other program the called ones okay okay the called ones you need to make sure this program id is same file name is called.cob, but the program id is subprog in this subprog what i'm doing is i'm just displaying i am in the called program i am waiting in this program until this user is pressing x then i use the keyword exit program i'm not using stop run if you say stop run it will exit out of the complete control now i'm saying exit program okay so Caller calls the subprog, then subprog exits the program. Now I compile this also. Okay. Let us see what is the effect. No issues. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to open the caller, execute that. Okay. Now let us execute this. If you see here, it has come out of that. So we need to see why it has not stayed in that. So let us try to execute this. See what happens. Okay. Now it is coming out of it. Let us see what is the problem. Okay. Uh, the issue was that the file name was different. So I changed the file name also to subprog.cob and then the program ID also as uh, subprog. Now from this caller, I am calling this program. Now let us execute this. Now if you, I am just, uh, sorry, I am just uh, compiling this. Let us ensure there are no issues. Okay. Now, if you see here, the first control is in the calling program. I am calling another program. Control goes to subprog. I am in the called program. Now, I am trying to exit out of the called program. So I type G, so it didn't exit. I type F, it didn't exit. Now, I type X, it exits the called program. Now, it has come back to the calling program. Now, I type X, it comes out of the calling program also. So, this is a very important aspect okay a very simple aspect okay now the issue is you if you want to make them as two separate files use subprograms reason why we go for subprograms is I cannot have thousands of paras in COBOL the moment you have one single file with so many variables with so many code it is very difficult to maintain so in big ERP kind of a thing or say even banking for the deposits you have to have one program for withdrawal you have to have one program for general ledger you have to have one program you cannot put all the programs in one place but each program there may be interdependencies to call each other that is why you use sub programs now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass parameters to the sub programs how do we do that in the caller I have defined two things there's a structure called WS parameters. I have defined in parameter and out parameter. In parameter is picture 99, nine, out parameter is picture 99. Nine. So what I'm going to do is I'm moving one to the in parameter. Move one to in param. Okay, let us not even move that. Let us get that value from the user. Okay. Say display give a number. Now let us say accept in param. 
accept in param. So what I'm going to do is call sub program using WS parameters. I am passing the whole structure. I am passing the whole structure WS parameters. So it will take the value whatever you are doing in param, it will go to the sub program. Inside the sub program, I am going to do some modifications to the out parameter. Now here I am going to say display out param comma once it comes out of the call the program sub program, I am printing that value. So I am taking whatever user giving to me. I call this program with those parameters. Inside that program, I am doing some modification. I'll show you what I'm doing. Then I am printing that value. So now I am passing a structure to a sub program through call statement. Let us compile this. Okay. So this is done. But inside the called one sub program, let me open the sub program. Okay subprog.cob inside this how do I use this how does this program know it is getting passed some value so what you do is simply okay 0 1 I am defining WS parameters okay but usually this WS we use the prefix for working storage now I am using link parameters the name can be anything for the structure but the picture class for the fields should be the same. Now I'm saying in parameter picture 99, same way out parameter picture 99. So the structure of link parameters and WS parameters are exactly the same. That you have to define in the sub programs linkage section. That's first change. Second change in the procedure division, you need to say using link parameters. You can have multiple structures as part of the linkage section. This is nothing but the interface between sub program and the caller. So in the procedure division declaration, you need to say procedure link division using link parameters. Now inside this, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do a simple calculation. Add one to in parameter. Move that value to out parameter move in param to out param. That's all I'm doing. So I get a value from the user in the caller. That value I am passing from caller to the sub program. I am adding one to that value. I am moving that new value to the out parameter so that it will come back to the caller program. It will get printed. Now let us compile this guy. Let us see what happens no issues now let me open the main program okay now let me open caller let us execute this guy I am executing this it is asking give me a number I am saying 5 so it goes to the called program inside the called program you know I am adding 1 to that 5 I exit out of the called program. Now it says out parameter is 0, 06 because I gave 5. It added 1 to that. It returned 6 in the out parameter that camps back to the calling program. Let us execute this once again. Now I am giving 11 as my number. I am exiting out of the called program. It returns 12 because inside the call sub program I am doing add 1 to the input parameter. That's what it is doing. So in this session, we have seen the caller program, how to call another program, then how to call another sub program using parameters. We have seen the usage of the linkage section. So this way you can do a lot of modular programming, one program for each module. Thank you.